Hey everybody, this is Peter B. And today, I'd like to talk to you about the uh, Senior Professional Baseball Association. Um, I assume most of you probably never even heard of it. Uh, I was uh, in the basement and I found an old carb, uh, old uh, plastic bin filled with oddball baseball stuff. Uh, hadn't been open in 25 years. And so I brought it upstairs and I uh, checked things out and this is one of the things in it. So I figured I'd show you what this is and uh, hopefully educate you about the 1989-1990 Senior League Baseball. It was uh, four retired baseball players. You had to be 35 and older. And the oldest one that did participate, I forget his name, but um, he was 54 years old. It was an eight-team league. All the games were in Florida. And uh, like I said, it lasted two years. It had uh, eight teams the first year, and I think either six or four teams the second year. And then they folded. And this is a set of 120 cards of players that played in that league. There were only two Hall of Famers and two Hall of Fame managers. And let me show you them now. First Hall of Famer that was in the league is Raleigh Fingers. And you can see the teams were named like the Tropics and things to do with Florida. This is what the back of the cards look like. Raleigh was on the West Palm Beach Tropics. So that's the first Hall of Famer in this set. And the second is Fergie Jenkins. And he was on the Winter Haven Super Sox. There are also two managers. First one, Earl Weaver. And he managed the Gold Coast Suns. And the second manager was Dick Williams. And he managed the Tropics. What's, um, what's cool about these cards is if you grow up collecting baseball cards and watching baseballs in the 70s and early 80s, you would know all the guys on this team, on these teams. It's... Uh, like bringing back childhood memories when you would see him come on the field again during this league. Here's a um, combo card of the two Hall of Famers I just showed you, Weaver and Williams. So that's the Hall of Fame cards in this set. And let me just show you a few. I won't show you all 120, but let me just show you again an idea of who played for Kurt Flood was named the commissioner. Commissioner Senior Professional Baseball Association. And some of the players. Luis Tiant. And he was on the, oh, the Gold Coast Sun. We already saw one from them. Amos Otis. He was on the Fort Myers Sun Sox. Al Oliver, who may make it to the Hall of Fame one day. He was on the Brandonton Explorers. Greg Nettles. He managed and played third base for the St. Lucie Legends. Hal McRae, he was DH for the Explorers. Bill Madlock, he was on the Orlando Juice. One of my favorites, Bill Lee, the Spaceman. 
He was manager and pitcher for the Winter Haven Super Sox. Big Dave Kingman playing on the Tropics. The Mad Hungarian, Al Herboski on the Tropics. Butch Hobson for the Super Sox. Toby Hara for the Tropics. George Foster for the Legends. Doc Ellis. I doubt he pitched on acid in this league. He played for the St. Petersburg Pelicans. Coop. Cecil Cooper. For the Super Sox. Cesar Sendendo for the Gold Coast Suns. Bernie Carbo for the Super Sox. Burn Campanaris for the Suns. Cleet Boyer, manager for the Explorers. Barry's dad, Bobby Bonds, for the Legends. Vita Blue, also for the Legends. And Paul Blair, for the Suns. And like I said, 120 cards. Um, you, if you, like I said, if you watch or collected baseball cards in the 70s, early 80s, you'd probably know every single player. So I just thought that was real neat. Uh, forgotten league, at least for me. And like I said, I'm sure some of you have never even heard of this league before. So found it while cleaning my basement. And I just wanted to share it. Thank you.